All right, go, Latoya. Thank you all for showing up today, Devon and myself. Very much appreciate it so much from our hearts. Um, all that you have done and that you keep doing for us, we love you all. We started doing this and being out here and helping the people that we were helping out of love. And people that are hurting don't deserve to get hurt anymore. They need Ooh. help. They need, they need shelter. They need support. Constant support. And that's why Amen. we were out there for 72 days straight. From 9 o'clock in the morning to probably about 1230 at night. And we were asked by the legislator um, one time of if, why can't we just end at nine o'clock? And it's like, well, we can't end at nine o'clock because who knows when an addict is gonna come through? Who knows when somebody homeless is gonna come through? And we have all this food, we have all this water, we have all these, all, this, all these things we wanna say to them and talk to them about. So who knows when they're gonna come through? You know, we don't know if they're coming at 901 and we already packed up and we are riding down the road because that's the law and that's what the park sign says. It's not a, 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 a organized event. I was told by the park or, um, organizer, I think he is, the park organizer, he like fixed it up or whatever for sort of what it looks like now. And he said that if you are an organized event, you need a per permit. We don't, we're not an organized event, we're just two people don't have much either but we're willing to give what we do have so that they feel better about themselves they think twice about going to get some drugs or or selling their body or or hurting someone to get food or water or some clothes or some shoes you know we, we're out there because we care we're out there because there wasn't anyone out there for our parents who were addicted both our parents were well both of his parents were addicted and my father was I'm doing this in memory of all of them. Woo! And I wish, and, I, and it was working. Everything was working so well. People were getting better. People were reuniting with their families, work, going to work, um, changing the way that they just thought about themselves because of the love that we showed them. And going back over there now that, that he's been locked up for these three weeks, it's just heartbreaking because these, these same people that were changing their lives and in the in the midst of changing their lives, they're now back where they were, feeling abandoned, feeling like nobody cares about them again. And, and it hurts because we were changing people and, and people were actually giving. There were people in the community that just would come to the park to be there because maybe a family member was there that they were just checking on, you know? But those people came back to the park. They started bringing food, bringing water, bringing their own music, you know, like showing love to the people, the same people that didn't have that same love. So I just want this to continue. I, I don't want our program ain't to stop. It's not going to stop as long as I have breath in my lungs. As long as, I can move, as long as I can get up and do anything to fight the injustice that the police in this area commit on a daily basis. Ticketing someone who's homeless 25 times in a month for loitering is disgusting. And jaywalking. And it's not, and it's not, and it's not law. That's disgusting. 25 times. There's one guy over there. 25 times he was ticketed in a month for loitering. Disgusting. And homeless and addicted. How is that even lawful in any way, shape, or form? It's not. But for any judge to look at that and be like, yeah, give him, give him this much amount to pay. It's, it's disgusting. We shouldn't have to. We shouldn't have to go through things like this in life. And I'm going to continue. And I know that Devon is going to continue. And we thank you all for being here. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, Latoya.